This is a review for Mojave Screen Capture 2 for Mac. But don't worry if you're a Windows user, this is available for Windows and has pretty much the same interface. So to start off with you have this small little window here that you can move around and this basically is just where it will be recording. By doing this drop down here you can select different sizes for it including color LCD which selects the whole entire screen from top to bottom left or all the way from left all the way to right including the menu bar or you can select a preset size let's just do full screen for now if you click this button here you can then select different parts of the screen by right cl uh, left clicking dragging and letting go also if we were to go also if we were to go to say a web browser click here click here as an example you can drag it will grey out the area which isn't being selected and we can go say like that and then that's it selected and it says custom here now and it specifies the size down here and you can manually type that in as well you can click here to record the system audio such as uh, binging and clicking or whatever and here you can select to record from the microphone you can select built in if you have a headset with a one plugged in you can select that or if you have a USB microphone or whatever you can select select it from the list you can also click here time and options this allows you to tick here and it will stop after say 2 minutes or 10 minutes 15 minutes whatever you select most likely you won't use that option click here and it to get cursor options so you can highlight your cursor in a color and you can specify what color and how big or small you want it you can highlight it yet you know or not you can even click to unshow your cursor so you don't see your cursor at all you can select highlight clicks and left will be red right clicking will be blue or you can change it you can have the mouse click sound uh, turned on or not and you can also add your own sound effect instead very handy ticking this or unticking it if you have it ticked if I were to press say spacebar you wouldn't see it while you're recording but if you played about the video it would say space down the bottom left corner or if I clicked I don't know escape it'd say escape and you can turn that off just by clicking here now it's off back on up here you can go and check for updates you can see I'm using the latest version at this time you can see I'm using the latest version at this time which is 2.0.3 click OK to dismiss that you can go to preferences select your language, check automatically for updates send uh, anonymous user stats to the company or not I don't mind sending that, some people might not like it so you know tick it show the countdown which will count down like 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 before it starts files select uh, here you can select where the captured video files or this uh, screenshots will go by clicking here there you can select the folder same with temporary files you can delete your temporary files clicking here you can also delete temporary files after saving when you untick it if you don't want it you can set up your keyboard shortcuts you can as well as taking videos you can also take a screen capture or, you know a screenshot so you don't have to just record videos you can use this if all you wanted to if all you want to do is take a screenshot you can just click uh, your keyboard shortcut and take a still image video settings codec which you here you only have the one frames per second 60 or 30 25 or a few others output format as well and you can enable super speed conversion so you can click learn more it goes to their website in the web your default web browser and it tells you about that basically it's to speed it up older version or the new two and what the differences in speed are and what it does I would probably if I was you leave that ticked you can go to audio I would either select 44.1 kilohertz uh, stereo or which is basically CD quality or I'd select 48 kilohertz, which is basically DVD and Blu-ray quality. Click OK. When you're ready, you uh, you can click record here. 
Okay, and this is just a general full screen uh, capture. Now clicking on Steam. Now right clicking on Steam. Now closing Steam. Okay, and it's just general uh, full screen capture of the desktop. So let me demonstrate that. Let's go back to our YouTube. Let's click record. You've got your buttons here for volume, cancel, pause, stop, but you also have up here pause and stop and elapse time up here. So let's just hit play. Okay, let's hit stop. There you go, you get this pop up window where you can trim the time from start to the end, you can play it. However, as you can see, it doesn't seem to like to record flash videos very much. However, I have tried this in game and you can. Well, it's actually worked, but there seems to be a bit of a difference in the audio. The audio seems way ahead of the video. Anyway, um, that, that, even though that doesn't look too good there, I have recorded a HTML5 video and that works, or normal screen recording works, and I've even gone in game to a Steam game, uh, XCOM Enemy Unknown, and it will even record the 3D. Even though some game, uh, some screen recorders won't record 3D of the game, this will work like fraps and record uh, gameplay. You can select here. Uh, I recommend by default you select MP4 if you don't really know what one to select. This is also a super speed format. Hyper Classic isn't, MP3 isn't, so it depends what format you choose. You also got more formats here, such as general, uh, online video, web compatible, flash, quite a few here, and you can go to more for devices. You can select a certain device such as the Kindle, an Android, an Arcus tablet, a, H a HTC phone, LG phone, Nokia phone. Uh, they have a preset of Apple. I'm not sure which Apple device that is. So is it Apple phones or does it mean Apple TV box? 
Uh, so I'd like to see a separate preset for Apple TV box perhaps would be handy. Okay, then you can click here to get more advanced settings for your format that you're exporting as. So you can select for instance under MP4, H.264 codec or just MPEG4. You can select the resolution is the same as output, even smart fit, up to size or various other resolutions. Bitrate type, you can select auto, custom, VBR, but this will depend upon what format you've selected as your main preset. You can also select your frame rate, such as 30 frames a second. You can select here various, quite a few options for the quality. So you can have ultra fast, but it will be very low quality, right up to ultra slow, which will be the highest quality, but you have to wait the longest. I'd recommend perhaps starting with medium and see how it goes. If you select the custom here, you'll be able to put in a bitrate here as well. Then you have an audio tab, AAC or MP3 in this case. Bitrate is on the auto for this one, but depending upon the video and the format you selected up here, it will depend. You can tune it for film or an animation or low latency. I would just stick with film. You can also select and make it PlayStation Portable more PlayStation Portable compatible or progressive download uh, I'd leave these off unless you know you really need them and you can hit OK then hit save to save it and then it will save the file as an mp4 in this case and open your my computer or your finder window where, where it's saved to just so you can get to it easily okay so what are my final thoughts this is a very good little screen recorder because it will even do in-game of uh, it will even do in-game gameplay which is really good not all screen recorders will do that it's fairly customizable however if you're on Windows if you're a Windows user I'd recommend you look at their other version instead they have one called Screen Capture Studio. This program here costs about £19 in the UK, which I think, considering this is a fairly basic, really, screen recorder, I find it a little bit overpriced. However, if you are on Windows and you get their Screen Capture Studio, it costs about £30, which is a reasonable price for a full feature screen capture program. And unlike this one, it also has editing capabilities. So after you record you can hit edit and bring it up into its own little video editor and chop it, add transitions, add effects and all sorts which uh, is very good for a £30 program. Whereas a lot of screen recording programs that have editing capabilities are a lot more expensive. So I think it's a really good deal. Unfortunately that is not out on Mac and I think the standard one here is perhaps could could be a lower price I would say more like £10 for this version and I would like to see Studio released on Mac as well so that's my final thoughts this version great program if you don't need much uh, editing capabilities but should perhaps be a lower price for this version the Studio version is a real bargain but only on Windows so thanks for watching, please like and share this video and please just take two seconds to sh uh, subscribe to my channel, it will help me out a lot. Thanks for watching.